surface zero area, they were staggered at different elevations. So when the shock wave came up through the water, they could tell how long it was for the shock wave to hit a certain rocket trail, which gave them the propagation rate of the shock wave. I was about two and a half miles from them. The rockets went off, and then suddenly this gigantic column of water shot straight up into the air. And you're watching the waves come closer and closer to the ship, and at two and a half miles, it's hard to judge how far away it was from surface zero, but suddenly the waves just washed over the ship, and uh, you could then see how gigantic the height of that uh, wave was. Uh, after the shot, it seemed to be a couple of minutes or so before the first wave came in, not very high, and up to that time the water had been quite calm at the beach, and then the first wave came in, then receded, the second wave came in, and a little higher and uh, also retreated, and the third wave came in, was the highest, and completely covered the island, about four to six feet high. And uh, after about uh, 10 minutes, the water subsided, we could get down out of the tree. And a few minutes later, a light plane from Inuitok came over, throttled back his engine, and said, are you all right down there? So we waved that we were in good shape, so off he flew.